Welcome to our lesson on finding a volume and the total surface area of a cylinder. So we're going to begin by working out the volume of a blue cylinder. And we're doing this by working out the area of the base. So here we have a circle where the radius is 5 centimetres and the area of a circle is pi r squared. And we know that r is 5, so it is pi times 5 squared, which is 25 pi. And now we have a cross-sectional area, which is the circle, we multiply it by the depth. And you can see the depth of a cylinder is 10 centimetres. So we have our cross-sectional area and we're multiplying it by 10, which is 250 pi centimetres cubed. So this is a multiple of pi and to approximate it at a decimal, we have approximately 700 and 85 centimetres cubed to three significant figures. Do you want to try and work out the volume of a red cylinder? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So for our red cylinder, we have the cross-sectional area, which again is a circle, this time of radius 7. So the area, pi r squared. So we have pi times 7 times 7, which is times 49 of 49 pi. We multiply it by the depth, which is 4 centimetres, so the multiple of pi it is 196 pi centimetres cubed. Again, we can approximate this as a decimal, which is 616 centimetres cubed to three significant figures. OK, let's move on to the total surface area. So here we have the top, which is this face, and as we unravel the curve, we create a rectangle. And on the other side of a rectangle, we have the bottom face, which is here. So we're going to work out the area of the top and bottom face, where the radius is half the diameter, which is 4. So the area of the circle is pi r squared, and the radius is 4. So this is 16 pi. There is 16 pi here as well. To work out the area of a rectangle, we know this length is the 15 centimetres. This length is the circumference of our circle. And the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. And again, the radius is 4. So now we have 2 times pi times 4, which is 8 pi. So the length of our rectangle is 8 pi, which gives an area of 120 pi, which we can approximate as 377 centimetres squared. So the total surface area are the two circles, which are 32 pi, plus the rectangle, which is 120 pi. So in total, we have 152 pi centimetres squared. We can approximate this as a decimal as 478 centimetres squared to three significant figures. Do you want to try and work out the surface area of this cylinder? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So we can work out the area of each circle, which is pi r squared. Our radius is 4, so this is 16 pi as is the circle below it. The width of our rectangle is the circumference of the circle, which is 2 pi r, which is 8 pi. So again, we have a length of 8 pi multiplied by the width of 9. So the area is 72 pi centimetres squared. So the total surface area is the sum of the three parts, which is 32 pi plus the 72 pi, which is 104 pi centimetres squared. We can approximate at the decimal as 327 centimetres squared to three significant figures. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.